Hello and welcome to the Dead Heads gameplay video, first look. Before I already created a quick overview of the main menu, but I could not actually play because uh, there was something <laughs> which didn't let me play, but uh, this time we actually are in the game. Alright, so use your right thumb to look and your left thumb to move forward. So, indeed, we can look around with our right thumb and let's just run forward. This big room, which is unnecessarily big, is a terminal. Uh, terminal A. So that's where you arrive on a dropship. That guy over there. And these are the gates of awesomeness. Because there are two awesome guys. One is uh, holding minigun, orbital, and um, another one is standing with plutonium lance, which is a sniper rifle of sorts in that hat. Okay, so shooting range on our left, and the arena is on our right. And that green building is um, main menu. Okay, let's go to the shooting range first, and uh, shoot at some static targets. Now we're in the first person mode, and we can tap to shoot. This rifle is called Jericho, and we also have another one, which is a Savage Shotgun, which is my like favorite weapon, basically. Yeah, it's uh, really easy to play with, and you move faster than with Jericho, and yeah, of course it's a shotgun, so everybody loves a shotgun. Okay, enough of the um, shooting range, let's go. Here is a melee area, you can practice with a sword. Yes, there, are, there is a sword in that hat. There is a dropship, which we arrive on. And let's go to the arena. So arena works this way, you just go through the teleporter and then you can shoot some aliens. Oh, somebody exploded over there. I need some health. These green pickups are ammo. And let's just kill these simple enemies. Let me switch to the shotgun, I prefer it so much better. If only I could shoot with it. Oh no, I need health. So these little spider, spider-like enemies, they're called crawlers. These guys are slaves. And these are hunters. We also have a screamer, those exploding busters, which I hate because they... Yeah, that one. Oh, kill him! No, almost, I'm almost dead. I need to get some HP. ASAP. Here is a double damage pickup. Let me switch to the Jericho, it should be beneficial. Yeah, so that's pretty much the arena. When you are tired of it, just go out through the teleport and... Yeah, kind of fool around in the um, training ground. But for now, let's skip this and go to main menu. Okay. Alright. Yeah, go to main menu and now we can actually play some uh, single player. I have uh, completed a couple of uh, single player maps already, but let me just walk you through them so that you can see what's actually going on. So the first one on the list is Aqualab, which is a map ported from the another Simeon game called Uber Strike. Yeah, that game was pretty hot um, several years ago, but uh, I'm actually... Yeah, not, not that crazy familiar with it. I just know that it was really, really awesome. The idea behind the single player is that you have to locate fuel road and then bring them to generator. So this guy is generator and now we have to find fuel cells. Okay, here is the first one. 
You just come to it, you tap activate to basically activate it, and then you have to protect it from these aliens because they will want to destroy it. Here is a progress bar. Yeah, the first uh, couple levels are like really easy. There's not much stuff going on. Let's switch back to Jericho. Okay, our fuel cell is ready. Let's just grab it and bring it to the back to the generator. While carrying fuel cell, you only can attack with melee weapon with this uh, sword here. Okay, we deliver, deposit, mission complete. Everybody is happy. Generator is working. My soldier is tying his shoes. Life is beautiful. Okay, um, I have earned three stars because I have completed mission without dying and there were no gem gemmed extractions. Right, what what other... Be oh, I can show you the turbine. This is a fun map. They, uh, it has like a couple, uh, couple few cells instead of one. Let's get ready. Yeah, this one is a little bit more difficult because there are more hunters coming up. There are those uh, big guys. Right, go, go, go. I might actually use IED. IED works uh, the way that you place it and then when somebody walks over it, it explodes. I killed all these guys. Good, good. Now go grab the fuel cell. Switch to shotgun. Headshot. Yeah, shotgun is awesome. It's so far the most favorite weapon of mine. But obviously, it's not very efficient at the further range. Let's grab the double damage and just kill this guy. Yeah, die! Oh no, screamer coming up. Oh wait, no! Yeah, actually, there's not much, not much you can do when you are with a sword and there is screaming coming at you. Yeah, you just have to pray that you have enough health. Okay, let's deliver this one and then one more to go. Deposit, go, go, go. ID is always a good choice, and you can see the minimap at the top right. It shows how many enemies have died just now. I think I just got all three. There was no fuel cell upstairs, so I have to grab one here. Okay, looking good so far. I think my fuel cell should be ready anytime now. Okay, let's bring it to the generator. Yeah, this um, early stages of single player, they're not that exciting. They just their aim is to teach you how to play and how to move around and like different weapons and stuff like that. But then they actually become more challenging. Let me have a quick play through the new Hong Kong map. Now we are spawning at the dropship, and then we just jump down and then have to do the same routing all over again. Right, here comes those bastards. Some explodable barrels. Okay, so the first uh, fuel cell is upstairs. Let's go grab it. And while it's charging we have to protect. I will just stay here near this staircase and then prevent aliens from coming up. There is a concept of smart shooter in Deadheads. So as you can see, uh, this frame will turn red and then you can see this circle. That means that your weapon is focused on the... on your enemy. And then it's kind of locked. So now then you just tap and then it will shoot. So you don't have to be like that precise, but with a shotgun, however, you have to aim precisely because it doesn't have smart shooter. Well, smart shooter is like basically aim assist of sort, just to help you to aim a little bit better. 
So different weapons, they have different kinds of smart shooter. Some are really just taking control of your aim, but some just don't have any. So let's go get the another fuel cell. I'm playing on the iPad, so it's a little bit more difficult than on the phone, but still alright. Yeah, one of our colleagues, he's like really good with um, playing at iPad, but for me it's, it's just difficult. Alright, let's collect it. If you have iPhone 5S, then you can like play this game relatively comfortable. Because I own one, and then it's uh, yeah, it's alright. The performance is uh, is rather good. Obviously, on the on the iPad Pro, there is like no issues with performance. But remember that this is beta, so uh, anything can happen. <laughs> Do I have any fun stuff to show you? Mm. Okay, we can update, we can upgrade our soldier to the level 5, so he will be stronger next time we play. Oh, I also have upgrades for the shotgun. Yeah, I love shotgun, so I will definitely update this. Let me check the shop, if there is anything good. Oh, I can buy Jane Shadow. Nice. But uh, after I bought her, I have to actually... No, I can play with it. Awesome. Alright, so this is our Jane Shadow, it's a female character, and then, uh, yeah, she's pretty awesome, I really like this model. Also, Mazer Marine is also available, okay, that's convenient. That's another dude, but let me switch to Jane Shadow, and I will briefly jump to the training ground, just to show you how she looks from third person view. Yeah, age is tight and I need to reach level five, uh, 7 to get him. But I'm level 6 already, so it should happen relatively soon. Jericho Starburst is um, similar to Jericho, but it has a uh, burst mode, so it shoots three bullets at a time, which is quite different from the original Jericho. And that's our Jane Shadow. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick gameplay video of Dead Hats Game. And uh, if you have not joined yet, then go to deadheadsgame.com and just apply for the beta. Okay, have fun. See you.